Welcome back, terrestrials, to whatever the fuck we do here. In this solo episode, well, let me do it like this. Let me ask you something. Have you ever wanted to see a movie about door frame trims? And these guys right here? Have you ever wondered what it would be like to watch a movie where the camera angle is really, really slow and you only see the corner of door frames? Have you ever wanted what it'd be like to strain your eyes for an hour and a half? Have you ever wanted to watch a movie about how toilets disappear and then reappear and then disappear? Have you ever wanted to watch a movie where the camera just films a wall? No? Oh, well then this movie ain't for you. I'm talking about Shudder's new uh, 2022 movie. Um, the budget was $15,000 and it made $2 million in the box office. Someone got rich off this because, well, I guess I should tell you what movie I'm talking about. I've avoided saying its name because I don't have any clue on how to pronounce it and I don't care enough to Google it to find out. So I'm just going to say this one. Um, now, before I get too heavy into this, let me tell you what this movie did get right. It was able to build atmosphere. Sometimes. Now, let's talk about what the movie did wrong. Almost everything else. It looks like they shot this movie in a well-lit area and then darkened the footage and then put night for day filter over top of it with a 70s grain. Now, I understand that the idea was to make it an older looking video. Um, they did it. And the filter that they used didn't really repeat its uh, marks on the film. But that's it. Like, it was so grainy. It hurt my eyes. It was, the movie is so slow that it built it like it does this thing where it builds the atmosphere and then it just sits there for so long it gets boring again so mentally you just kind of fade out of it and then it starts to build the atmosphere again and then maybe somewhere in there you'll get something mildly entertaining like if you've ever wanted to see barbies stuck to a wall or legos sitting on a floor for 25 minutes then let me tell you this movie is for you if you want something interesting to happen in your movies then this movie's not for you it's not for you just it's not for you if you like entertainment um it, it really just fell victim to the fact of pacing this could have been more interesting i mean outside of the camera shots the camera shots were really really annoying just super low and filmed like right up into the corner of door frames and rooms where the joints of the drywall meet and all the corners and just filmed like toys on the floor for too long all in this day for night shot or night for day shot which i'll put the effect on so you can see what it looks like and this is what the whole entire movie looked like I don't understand. I feel tricked because it looked cool. It looked fun. And then I watched it and that's what I got. I understand what it's trying to say, what it's trying to portray. I understand the idea behind a child being abandoned and their whole world looking differently and or abused and things just your world's flipped upside down things don't make sense to you everything's kind of the same but it's not um and that you know eventually darkness will eat you i get all that but it did not do a good job of conveying that i had to read that somewhere and i and even after reading it i think back at the movie and i'm like no, not really. For whatever the reason they made the movie and what it was supposed to symbolize, 
it didn't come through in the movie not for me so the lack of everything in this movie the lack of anything in this movie i mean seriously and then they're all whispering and it's just there's almost it's like sitting in silence listening to the end like have you ever heard or had played a vinyl record and it's over and it just sits there and makes that staticky white noise when the end that's the audio for this entire movie it's so ridiculous like that sound is what makes vinyls good when the music is playing and that is a layer of it it makes it just it gives us this really lovely sound to it but when it is the audio for your movie alone it is so annoying and i do not understand this movie just upset me because i looked forward to it the person that gave me the recommendation I respected their movie opinion until this one. Sorry, Doug. And it just, it, it failed in so many different ways, but it could have been so good. And that's what's upsetting about it. Like the, the idea behind it is really good. The, some of the shots are okay. Like there's creepy shots where the mom and the dad are in the bedroom and the kid is talking to him and then one's gone and the other appears and you know those shots they were good i was okay with those shots they they did what they what they should have done they built that atmosphere they built the creepiness but then there's never any payoffs for it and and that just it it doesn't work it does it doesn't work and don't get me wrong, I'm not complaining because the movie was slow. I like a slow burn. I just feel like ever since the 80s, well, no, you know what? I'll give you till the year 2000. Ever since Ginger Snaps, Canada is not doing well in the horror department. I'm not 100% sure there's a Canadian movie. Either way, I can't suggest watching this. So I'm just going to skip right ahead to our, our holy trinity of questions. Um, was it thrilling or was it killing? It was an absolute slaughter to watch this movie. It was so boring. I was falling asleep at eight o'clock at night because of how boring this movie was. It's such a bummer. Um, would I pay it to see it in theaters? I did not pay to see it in theaters, so I have to say no, I wouldn't. Um, could this be a cult classic at some time? Honestly, yeah. Yeah, because this is one of those movies where people are, they'll like it because it's so bad. Or somebody will just, you know how there's those people that are like, that movie sucked. They'll be like, the new Hellraiser sucked. Or the new Candyman sucked. They're just trying to be like contrarian somebody will do the opposite for this movie this movie sucks and somebody will be like it was a masterpiece it was even better than tommy Wiseau's the room like that that's the per oh my god that's the perfect example it'll be like the room when it came out everybody was like what is this trash bag of a fucking movie and then 10 years later, everybody's like, it's an art house piece and it's great. Anyways, where's my IPA? It it's going, that's what's going to happen to this one. I I'm calling it now. Like I believe that that will be the thing. Uh, are you sure about that? Anyway, stars. I think a fair assessment on stars is two. I'm kind of bummed. I, I wish I liked it. I wish there was more to it. I wish there was actually a movie here. There's really not. It's just some dude filming weird angles of stuff and then gluing shit to walls. And then boom, that's it. Actually, you know what? How did this movie cost $15,000? Now that I think, I was like, man, $15,000 is such a small budget. How, but now, no. How did this, I could do that for like, I don't know. The amount of energy it costs to charge a phone one time and i can make that whole movie 
like how much they spent four dollars on super glue what else did they buy there's no, there's no set like legos maybe they bought an old tub of legos off facebook what cost fifteen thousand dollars in this movie that that doesn't even make sense like they could have filmed it for free on their phones they can edit it in iMovie or whatever program they have they could have made this movie for legitimately 500 bucks and that's only if they bought final cut pro because the shit's 300 bucks the other 200 bucks went to i don't know buying lunch for all three members of the cast four members of the cast what what else what else was there to this movie all right i'm not i'm not gonna sit here and keep keep complaining about it if you liked it tell me why you liked it um like i said i'm always willing to go back try things again look at it from a different perspective but as it stands right now this movie was trash and i'm I'm bummed that i watched it and i'm a little mad and somebody got away with uh probably upwards of twelve thousand dollars in their pocket yeah i'll see you next time hopefully with a better movie